Good morning guys, welcome to Monday's Free Racing Tips video. Hope that you're all doing well today and looking forward to what is actually a really decent uh, Monday of action to be honest. Um, usually during the winter you're looking at sort of two or three meetings um, and really, really horrible ground and uh, desperate conditions, you know, sort of towards the early stages of the week. But with the summer or the spring here and the summer on its way, you do have the evening racing where floodlights aren't needed and you do have a general better quality of racing, I find, just because there's a lot more on offer. And today we race from Hexham, from Kempton, Pontefract and Cork, and then both Windsor and Newton Abbott host their fixtures um, through the later part of this afternoon and early this evening and Monday evenings at Windsor will become quite a theme for you for the summer I'm um, usually hosting excellent cards there with some really strong maidens a lot of the time so uh, plenty to look forward to hopefully a really good day in terms of yesterday we had just the one it was the premium tip it was backed in from I think it was back from three to one to nine to four hit a little bit of a flat spot turning for home but was really rallying and the one thing the horse probably didn't need was the really short run in at Stratford. Has, has jumped the last well, the leader didn't jump it so well, but he just only had about 50 yards to make up the ground. If there was another 20 or 30 yards, you'd have think the horse would have probably got up. So went really close, so that was a little bit frustrating, but hopefully we can start our new week on a high and have plenty of winners today. It is, of course, uh, 2,000 and 1,000 guineas week as well. That takes place this weekend. And the jump season on Saturday comes to a um, conclusion with uh, Sandown's uh, Bet365 Gold Cup Day and it is the season finale. So the last time we will see AP McCoy riding on Saturday, which is pretty huge, to be honest. But focusing on today, we're going to get through uh, today's premium tip and little earner pretty quickly. And we'll start off by looking at the premium tip today which goes in the four o'clock at Kemperton. They're holding a jumps card uh, today. And our tip here is Shy John. Now this horse was at seven to two last night when sent out to gold members. Now is uh, around about the 11 to four mark. So a fair bit of money coming for this horse, which is good to see. In really good form at the moment, actually, and um, technically running off a lower mark than his win at Taunton um, last time out as this jockey takes off seven pounds and does get on fairly well with the horse as well and he wasn't on board last time out um always travels really well into his races shy john and is is one that does need to be played quite late isn't going to go and win by 30 lengths from the front does idle a bit but a jockey can usually just play this one late enough and um he's started to find a little bit more for pressure and usually it's his traveling and his jumping that wins him the game and off bottom weight i think he can continue his decent form um the main danger is of course uh the main danger, I'll just get the name, the main danger is of course Harry's Farewell, the name just escaped me there, but that horse absolutely bolted up last time out, but the handicapper really has had his say on that one, and I think at the weights, I think Shy John could be the bet there, so that's the premium tip. Today's little earner, that goes in the 5.35 at Newton Abbott, and our tip here is Barista, and that's currently... Um, that's actually now at 7 to 1, was at 10 to 1 last night, so again, good money coming for this horse. You can ignore the race that um, this horse competed in last time out, that was on the flat, it was a muddling affair, and it just proved to be pretty pointless to be honest in the end, and uh, I think you can just scratch that off. But has ran a couple of decent races um, recently, most recently at Taunton in March, we're not beaten too far, and a repeat of that... Uh, of that should see the horse go close again in this race, I think. Has the talented Sean Bowen on board and his £3 claim is like gold dust, to be honest. His £3 claim is uh, one of the best around and he's not going to have it for too much longer, I don't think. And he's only 17 years old. It's a real start for the future. This horse will enjoy the conditions, enjoy the track and I think should go close this afternoon. So that's the little earner. Lucky 15, that's up on the site. FreeRacingTips.co.uk forward slash get lucky 15. Hopefully we can have a really good day. For today's video, that's just about it. So thank you for watching. Speak to you all a little bit later on and bye-bye.